A shortage of workers. 28 polling sites in Hidalgo County closed on Election Day. We're digging into why and who's responsible. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Oscar Adame. Christine is off tonight. Our continuing coverage kicks off with Channel 5's Travier Gonzalez. He joins us live. And Travier, what did you find out? Oscar, good evening. Between those two major political parties, we're talking about the Republican and Democratic that were in charge of these elections and the county elections office that over that was uh, that guided these individuals. No one truly took responsibility over what took place on Tuesday. Now they have there have been posts on social media from all these organizations about how few many centers there would be, but that's really where it stopped. Now, an attorney for voters rights states that the blame should go to all of these organizations, but says overall that there's an issue across the state that needs to be changed. Um, they don't have enough personnel, whether it was in person over the phone. I feel like a tattletale and a complainer, but this should not be this way. Or online, Hidalgo County residents were quick to point out that Tuesday's election had some confusion. I don't like what happened yesterday. I wish we could change it, but we did the best we could under the circumstances. Hidalgo County's Democratic chair telling us over the phone that he intended to have 88 voting centers throughout the county. In total, they only ended up having 41, one location in Mission being closed the morning of Election Day. The reason given is tied to inexperience with new voting machines and a lack of staff. It's easy for people to criticize, you know, but I'm telling you that it's, it was very, very difficult to get people to go train for a one day for $12 an hour on brand new machines, you know, with laws that are very ambiguous. One of those laws in question, Senate Bill 1, part of the new state election laws the GOP legislature made a priority to pass. That law made several changes to the state's election process, among them possible criminal penalties for poll workers who offer voter assistance. But attorney James Slattery with the Texas Civil Rights Project says it's too soon to know if it has a direct effect. His concern is the way these elections are handled. This is really an outdated way to do primaries. Most other states, uh, they just have the state and county election offices do it because that's more professional. They are nonpartisan. Those are people that are trained to administer elections. And without making a statewide change, he says issues like these will only continue, making the process carry distrust against the system they're meant to believe in. What they are seeing is that it appears that members of one political party are being treated better than another. Um, and that contributes to an erosion of faith in the democratic process. The newly re-elected chairwoman for GOP, the GOP seat here in Hidalgo County, Adrian Pena Garza, was not able to meet with us, but she did send us a statement. This is a part of it right over here. She says that this is the first time the party here had a primary election in more than 14 years. And they say that they didn't have to share their employees, their workers, with Democrats. It's something that she believes ensures election integrity. Trevor Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.